the first to learn weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. So the month of March on a very bright note already at this hour. We have some sunshine uh, shining across the entire area and we have a day of sun and spring like warmth in store. Basically, if you liked yesterday's weather, you will love today's weather. May even like today's weather more because we're not starting the day in the single digits. We're starting the 30s as we look outside live with our Lewis Dodato camera. Not a cloud to be seen from Austin. It's 32 degrees there here in Rochester, 31. More of that sunshine here, and we have a day of sunshine in store for us. It is a little breezy, I will say that. Temperatures are mild. We're in the 30s. It feels like the 20s. Winds right now around 15 to 20 miles per hour. They'll be gusting higher than that uh, throughout the day. We had that yesterday. Same thing is going to happen today. 31 in Rochester. It's 32 in Albert Lee. Austin, 32 degrees, as I said, and 27 in Mason City. From here, we're going to warm to the 50s once again. We came within a degree of a record high yesterday to round out the month of February. Today, something very similar is going to happen. Winds right now 17 miles per hour. It does feel like 19, so keep that in mind. I wore the winter jacket the weather patio just because of that. Temperature is not too bad. If it was calm, not a problem with the spring jacket, but it is a little colder with that wind. Let's keep that in mind for the morning hours. Later on, it'll warm quickly, but we're going to go from the 30s to the 40s and eventually 50s in the afternoon. There's that warm front draped across the northern tier of states right across the U.S.-Canadian border. It was moving through uh, by midday yesterday, and then beyond it, we really had that warmth uh, blowing into the area in those winds. And today, that warmth continues to pump into the area. Those winds still 28 miles per hour, gusting to 35 all the way until about sunset. Then the winds really do drop off fairly quickly. For the morning commute, cold winds, some sunshine, 32, a lot of that sun in store for the, the entire day. Windy and mild, temperatures in the 50s. If that's not enough, well, we're going to tack on a few degrees. 60s and low 70s in store for the weekend. Next week, not that warm, but still milder than average, and there will be some rain chances in a, for a few days. But future track today, we have uh, sunshine, not a cloud to be seen uh, across the map, a gusty south winds uh, until this evening. Temperatures tonight dropping to the mid-30s, and then tomorrow, an even warmer day and a less windy day. So if you're looking, if it only could reduce the wind, it would be a better day. This is what we're doing tomorrow. We'll, we'll shave off a few miles per hour, and we'll tack on a few degrees. So tomorrow, maybe the best weather day overall. It will be warmer on, on Sunday, but extra clouds coming in, maybe even a stray rain shower late in the afternoon. It's going to be windier, though, with temperatures in the low 70s, but gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour on Sunday. The temperatures tonight, 30s. Readings tomorrow in the 60s. Yesterday, we were within a degree of the record high temperature, 55. Yesterday's high, 56 would have been the record. Same thing happens today, 55. 56 is the record. We'll be very close. We'll watch that. 60s tomorrow, low 70s on uh, Sunday, and there are rain chances ahead of us. A stray shower maybe late Sunday or in the evening hours Sunday. Better chance Monday. Maybe a brief shower next Thursday. So there are rain chances in store at times in the next week. But temperatures all very spring-like uh, this weekend. Very warm. Next week still above average by at least 15 degrees. But today a windy, warm, sunny day. 55 south winds at times 35 miles per hour. Tonight, 35 degrees, a lighter south breeze and seven day forecast. Again, uh, uh, mild this weekend, especially windy on Sunday. Uh, look for rain chances uh, at times next week with some uh, sun as well and uh, temperatures that are still warmer than average, at least a few weeks ahead of schedule. But this weekend's weather, especially mm -hmm. speaking, is unusually early. Anyway, mm -hmm. those 60s, you normally see some of those at times in, in April, but 70 <laughs> is really, really uh, warm. Yeah. Get out the grill for tomorrow, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank you, Ted.